Hey, welcome back to the M1. Uh, today we're talking about worst case scenario. I am stuck on an airplane working up Seattle and uh, between uh, a couple nice kids here. Uh, and uh, I'm stuck in the middle. And uh, you know, it's like being the fat kid uh, in, in a little bathing suit here. And that's, that's kind of what's going on. So I'm gonna show you some strategies real quick. One is that, uh, showing Chris earlier that, uh, you know, there's actually a little escape hatch. So if you're on the aisle, if you reach underneath the, the chair arm there, there's a latch. And he's found that latch, it's in the back usually, and if you flip that forward, that arm flips up, and now Chris can get his leg out in the aisle, and that changes the dynamics of the seating oh dramatically. Oh my god, it's so good. Right? Yeah, if you, uh, you also notice that uh, one of the things you want to do is actually make contact and become friends with people around you, because most people will be very comfortable with that once you actually have a conscious decision, no name, because now I can just cruise out and, and inform your space. So it's about kind of creating an opportunity for yourself. Goal number two is that you're trapped, so you might as well do something good about it. The goal is 12 ounces of water every hour. It's an hour, 15 minute flight, it's 24 ounces. Three hour flight, you've got to, you've got to get a liter down, so you know, it's going to be an excuse to stay hydrated. Two, you got to get up and go. And that's about water that's not juice or bloody mary or another thing, right? So if you at least have to get up and walk around the aisle, that'll make a difference. One of the things that uh, you got to travel with, and they're going to give you a hard time at the uh, <laughs> at the security every time is the lacrosse ball. And uh, this guy should be going in a couple places. One, it's a chance to work out all the little bitty knots on your forearm, smash into the pecs, do that kind of contract, relax, pounding and, gl and gliding in the hip. So, you know, also, if you leave this down, you can actually work that IT band a bit. And uh, you can actually accumulate quite a little bit of load of those things. One of the big things that uh, happens is that you're sitting so short, that hip crease, that psoas is on tight, that knee gets a little bit sore, that's called theater sign. Very first thing you need to do is try to pull your bag back and find a way to be able to get into full extension and not even parcel extension. So the mistake is that most of the time we're trying to straighten one leg and the other, but what I really need you to do is try to get into a position where you can almost be in a hollow body position once in a while and squeeze your butt and flex your quads so you're actually in a hollowed position. So don't have to put your arms over your head and settle, but being able to actually Turn on your glute is going to help reset that femur and make you feel a lot better. Obviously, I can't really stick my hey, sorry, you know, and do this. It's not very effective, but there's some things I can do to staying in the confines of my seat. One is that I can bring my foot up actually in onto my seat, and even hanging out in some super deep flexion will help kind of reset and give me some options. So every once in a while, if you get into that big position, it's like driving in your car and actually putting a foot up, but no one's going to prove you on that. If you can also work on internal rotation we talked about at the club, so you can internally rotate that leg, you can pin, and you can actually spend a little bit of time lengthening kind of this lateral unit. But here's some of the big stuff that people don't think about, besides you actually having confined space to work on forearms, you know, based on the seat, you can actually really work, and if we think of the shoulders basically a floating hip joint, if this is the hip joint, this is the knee joint, this is the ankle, then your forearm is functionally your calf, right? So it's a, we don't spend much time here, and it's really an easy way. How many people are after to complaining of, you know, rack position? Well, it starts here, and obviously it's the whole chain. So that makes a big difference, and it's easy for me to kind of cultivate and accumulate some time here. One of the nice pieces here is actually be able to work on internal rotation. If I put my hand behind my back, I can press into the seat and really kind of feel this nice piece. So I can back away, work that hand up, and press into the seat a little bit. The natural kind of inclination of the seat is going to go ahead and give me a little bit of an internal rotation bias, and I can and bias that a little bit more, but that's an easy way to actually accumulate some time, and uh, that will make a difference. So look, you've got to stay hydrated, you've got to get moving around. The worst thing you can do is to actually stay in one position for a long time. New BMW 7 Series, even some of the new Mercedes Benz, this is the reason to be a successful person, is that those chairs move constantly underneath you a little bit. And just those small adjustments and change allows us to kind of reset some of that elastic deformation. So a lot of the fuzz is happening in a lot of the glued down surfaces. The last thing I'll tell you is that it's a time to get your elbow into that rectus femoris and peel it off the thigh. So if you can get in there and peel it off the thigh or even take the ball, and uh, spend some time, you can really unglue that layer and get some time done. So, let's uh, think about using this time on the airplane to your advantage, not a disadvantage. But the big one, man, get out of this reflection, get into a position where you can come into full, almost hollowed extension and try to hit that full uh, kind of triple extension knee ankle hip, all right? 
see you guys tomorrow. Curtis says we're going to pick up some heavy shit.